face to face. During the many months of protest, never have the two sides so ideologically far apart been so close. It's a pretty extraordinary moment here, the two sides meeting for the first time. Those protesters over there, they have objected to the phrase from the river to the sea. They see that as anti-Semitic. They've had it chanted back at them. Six months into these protests starting, there's still lots of people, there's lots of feelings on both sides, shown for the first time as they meet. The government's counter-extremism czar had previously said that London had become a no-go zone for Jews during pro-Palestinian marches, a view echoed by the small number of counter-protesters here. Someone from over there gesticulated like that to him, and that is terrifying. So I think all these guys here will be terrified to go home wearing their flags because they might be set upon. No one from our side wants to have any violence towards the other group. We just want to have our voices heard and our hostages to be freed. There was little sympathy for that from those we spoke to on the other side. They have the right to peaceful protest too. No, no, no. There's a genocide. No, because it's a They're genocide. Murderers. They're murderers. Anyone who's complicit, is not, is not anyone who's silent is complicit. That's correct. This was the 11th march organised by the Palestinian Solidarity Campaign. They had predicted that hundreds of thousands would come. If it didn't meet those numbers, that may be because the government has, over the months, come to embrace the positions held by those marching on an immediate ceasefire and on getting much more aid to Gaza. That's led some to question whether the marches, which have cost more than £30 million to police, are a good use of resources. Does it need a protest like this when the British government wants the same thing, more or less? Well, unfortunately, I wish that were the case. And it is true there's a shift in the government position. That is because of popular pressure, so that emboldens people to keep marching and protesting. But the government position at the moment is to support a temporary pause and the government position at the moment is to continue selling arms to Israel. It wasn't entirely peaceful, but incidents like this were rare. It's also a strange sort of public protest where both sides say they agree with the government on the need for a ceasefire and the designation of Hamas as a terrorist organisation. But both sides have vowed to continue protesting. Today, visceral confirmation of how deep the divisions really are. Tom Cheshire, Sky News, Central London.